Hello everyone, welcome to your channel and today we are going to discuss about discriminator in database. So this is one of the most asked questions among the audience and also a very important concept. So let's dive into it today. So let's first understand the concept. What is a discriminator? So a little bit background, a weak entity set is actually a set who, uh, which does not have a primary key, right? It does not have adequate amount of attributes, which can be clubbed together to identify the different records in the weak entity set. Okay. So uh, I've uh, like have shown many much videos on uh, a weak entity set with examples so if you want to go into detail you can look into it but uh, important thing is that a weak entity set does not have a primary key so now the problem is how to identify the records within a weak entity set right how to discriminate a record one record from another and especially we why we want to you know identify because there are some records which are linked to a particular strong entity right so for example uh, let's say we have this example okay i'll discuss it in detail but just to give you the idea uh, there is a loan entity set which is a strong entity set and then is there is a payment entity set which is a weak entity set now just understand try to understand the different attributes we have so for loan we have loan number and amount now loan number is a very unique number which is associated with each particular kind of loan so uh, it cannot repeat okay so if i have a big table a big database table uh, having the details of different loans which were given to different individuals then over here, I am assuming that if I don't have any other, you can say, information about different people, then the loan number is a primary key, which is unique among all the records. That is, it cannot repeat. It cannot be duplicated. So I am easily able to identify that, okay, this loan is for this particular amount. And let's say it was given to so-and-so person. Okay. Now, obviously, it was given to so-and-so person means that we need to have it linked with some different individuals to whom it was given. But of course, you can have multiple tables and we are not going to go into the details of how, how big like uh, let's say number of tables we have for this particular example in case you want me to go into those details please drop a comment in the comment section below and i'll make another video with that uh, with more you know a uh, group of tables which are linked to it coming back to the concept now so we have this loan which uh, loan entity set which is 
easily and you know nicely identified by the primary key which is loan number and along with that we have just the amount to keep it simple i have kept very minimal amount of attributes and along with that now try to understand about the payment concept now for a particular loan there can be lots of payments right and obviously there is not a single loan a uh, record in the database of a bank there will be multiple loans which are given to various people and therefore there will be multiple payments also associated with these loans right so the payment now how we are representing a payment we are representing a payment with a payment number payment date and the payment amount okay so now try to understand that this payment number can be repeated right it can be same for different loans okay just try to understand what i'm trying to say so payment number can be same for different loans for a particular loan it cannot be same right so for example for loan abc uh, if a person has done five payments the payment numbers will be unique okay but only with reference to a particular loan okay but if i talk about this payment was done for let's say a different loan let's say for def then yes the payment number can be same okay so for example there can be uh you can say coming to this example only there can be abc associated with 012 payment and def also okay associated with 012 but there will be no other 012 no other record of no duplicate record of payment number 012 with some different amount let's say associated with the same loan number abc okay so i hope i made it clear so that is why since there is repetition of payment numbers in a single table it's difficult to identify the records in this table that is why we don't have a primary key okay because the payment number can also be same now the payment amount can also be same it can also happen that on the same date okay on the same date with the same payment number same amount of payment was done for two different loans so now that means we cannot uniquely identify the records in this table if we don't have the information about the specific loan with which it was linked okay so that is why it is a weak entity set because it cannot independently exist okay it needs the support of some other entity set so that is why it is called a weak entity set coming back to the concept of discriminator so now since it does not have a primary key what do we do right we need some kind of uh, record which helps us to you know identify the uh, you can say the records uh, which are linked to a specific loan so in that case okay when we uh, when we need uh, let's say some support or some a kind of attribute which helps us to identify a subset of records which are linked to a particular kind of strong entity set in this example it is a particular kind of loan number right a particular a specific loan right so there will be only a subset of records which are linked to a particular loan number and among them there is no repetition of payment number so in this uh, context this payment number uh, like acts as a discriminator okay so it acts as a discriminator and it is also called as a partial key we cannot call it as a primary key because it is getting repeated in the same table right it is uh, it is not independently helping us to uh, identify all the records among uh, like differentiate between all the records but yes partially it is helping us to identify among a subset of records it is not getting repeated among a subset of records so that is why it is a 
discriminatory okay and therefore it is also known as a partial key it is because it is partially it is helping us okay so that is why it is also a partial key of the weak entity set and remember the partial key concept or the discriminator concept always comes in the case of weak entity set because for a strong entity set we always have a primary key or we have alternate primary keys right alternate primary keys also known as candidate keys right so i've made many more videos on candidate keys alternate primary keys you can check out those videos with examples they are so coming back now to the concept of this weak entity set and the discriminator let's now study the uh, definition once again now that you've understood the concept so a weak entity set does not have a primary key but we need a means of distinguishing between all the entries in the weak entity set that depend or are linked with a particular strong entity set in our example it was linked to a particular loan number okay therefore the discriminator of a weak entity set is a set of attributes or a single attribute that allows this distinction or identification to be made in our example it is payment number okay now uh, coming to this example it may have happened let's say payment number is also getting repeated but uh, there is uh, then you could also see if there is a combination of payment number and payment date which is not getting repeated for a particular loan number okay so then this combination would have acted as a discriminator right so now let's see this diagram in some detail so we've already seen that this is a strong entity set because it has a primary key this is a weak entity set we've represented it with a double rectangular symbol and also it does not have a primary key uh, the dotted line shows that this is a discriminator remember how to represent a discriminator now you've seen the diagram and this is the relationship which is linking the strong entity set with a weak entity set so how do you represent this relationship and this relationship specifically the relationship between a strong entity set and a weak entity set is also known as identifying relationship we've also already studied this concept in the previous videos but again a review of that this is identifying relationship why is it called the identifying relationship because it is helping the weak entity set to get its identification it is helping to identify the records of the weak entity set okay so that is why it is the identifying relationship it is being named as loan payment you can give another name to it but how or what will it comprise of right so it will comprise of the primary key of the strong entity set and the discriminator of the weak entity set now in this example the discriminator is payment number and the primary key is loan number therefore the identifying relationship will comprise of or it will be the a table comprising of loan number and payment number now had it been that the discriminator was a group of attributes let's say payment number and payment date then this identifying relationship would have been loan number payment number and payment date okay so some lastly some important points to note oh, before that before that going before that since this is a weak entity relationship set you can see it is linked with one to many relationship over here so it is many payments will be made to a particular loan right or another way of saying it is that each payment is only for a single loan okay each payment you cannot say this payment is for loan number a and b no each payment will only be linked with a single loan okay so we have one to many relationship here or many to one relationship here because it is going in this direction then another thing is that this double line over here shows that it is a total participation always you need to remember that a weak entity set will always always linked to the strong entity set using a total participation because it cannot exist individually okay so it has to be linked with another or it need support of another entity set to get its uh, records identified right so that is why it is a weak entity set and it has to exist with total participation okay okay uh, coming to some important points to note 
द स्ट्रॉन्ग एंटिटी सेट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज द डोमिनेंट एंटिटी सेट ओके एंड द वीक एंटिटी सेट सिंस इट डज नॉट हैव सफिशियंट एटीट्यूड्स टू फॉर्म अ प्राइमरी की दैट इज वाई इट इज अ वीक एंटिटी सेट एंड इट इज डेल फॉर कॉल्ड सब ऑर्डिनेट एंटिटी सेट ओके सो मेक सेंस स्ट्रॉन्ग एंटिटी सेट इज अ डोमिनेंट एंटिटी सेट एंड द वीक एंटिटी सेट इज अ सब ऑर्डिनेट एंटिटी सेट देन ईच पेमेंट इज ओनली फॉर अ सिंगल लोन or there are many payments attached to a particular loan and a particular payment cannot go to two different kinds of loans okay so that is why it is many to one relationship if you see in this direction from weak entity set to a strong entity set okay if you read from strong entity set to weak entity set it is one to many cardinality okay so each weak entity set must be a part of one to many relationship and should have a total participation remember this one is in uh, the direction of the strong entity set and many is on the side of the weak entity set okay so uh, that's all for this concept discriminator which is a very important concept i hope i help you to make it clear and revise this concept in case you like the video please press the like icon below uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not already done to see more such videos uh, coming up also let me know in the comment section below if you would like to uh, if you would like me to make more such videos or any particular kind of video that you want me to make and uh, keep the bell icon pressed to get notified for more such learning videos coming up happy learning thank you